Hello guys, that is also here again and welcome to another Minecraft program video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the AM IDST program, which stands for the Advanced Minecraft Interface and Data Structure Tracking. I should really try this in a Gladys voice. Welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing the Advanced Minecraft Interface and Data Structure Tracking. Please be aware that there is no cake at the end of this video because it is a lie. Man, that was kind of meh. But, it, <laughs> but either way, this uh, this program allows us to do two things. It allows us to either type in a seed manually or have the program draw the seed from our world so it can make a 2D map of the world. Now, once it does this, we can actually find um, various awesomeness from it, such as strongholds, um, desert temples, villagers, and even new witches hut in the new 1.4 update. So let's go to that program real fast. Let's close Minecraft. Now, before we get started with the program, I want to point out that you have to have the correct jar um, for the correct version. So the version right now is version 2.0.42, which requires either 1.4 or below, preferably 1.4.6. Um, and you have to make sure you have it as, you know, just a regular Minecraft. Um, I use the magic launcher, as you can tell. There's a bunch of different jars here. Uh, if you're using the magic launcher just like myself, just make sure you have the latest version of Minecraft, latest version that the program could allow, which is 1.4.6 in this case, in your bin folder. Once you have that set, you can just click the program and we can get started here. So I'm just going to put it on full screen just so you, you guys can have a better resolution here. So uh, we have a few options when we go to file here. We have new from seed and new from file. Now I'm going to do seed first, which is, um, you know, you just type in whatever you want. So it could be like one, two, three, four, blah, 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 blah. Or in this case, I'm going to actually type in the blue eyes, white dragon. Because many of you know the seed showcase I did a few months ago was pretty much the best seed ever. So if I click OK, click default. Um, many of you will probably recognize the layout just by looking at this. This right here is the spawn point and we spawn exactly under, right next to a jungle temple. So if I click here, here's the jungle temple. And if I move to the ocean area and kept on going in a diagonal area from the spawn, I will eventually hit a mushroom island, which is pretty close to spawn if you think about it. And it's right above the stronghold. Now this is the stronghold that the Eye of Ender will um, pretty much go to, but as you can tell from the map, there is one over here and one over here. And in every single Minecraft world, there's only three strongholds, but of course, you know, the Eye of Ender will only go to one of them at the start. And yeah, that's pretty much it on that point. But as you can tell here, we have a village right here, we have a desert temple here. Uh, we have even the new witch's hut right here in the swamp biome. So of course, let me zoom in just a little bit, so let me scroll in. Um, hopefully it will, won't take too long to render because I'm recording. There we go. Oh, I was in an ocean of mine, that's why. Okay, so here's a better uh, view of the area. So this is the spawn point, and this right here is the uh, mushroom biome. Right here is another desert temple, and so on and so forth. Now, if I want to, I'm going to file right here, and let's go to my legit world. This one here was the one I was just in for dinner bones. Uh, this is pretty much my bug testing world. So as you can tell, this is my character. Hi there, Steve. Now there's three strongholds here. Now if you ever saw my seed showcase on my own world, this right here is the stronghold I was pointing to. It was very close to spawn. Now if you actually downloaded my world, you will notice that this right here is the stronghold I normally go to, you know, for the end, for pretty much any purposes because this is the first one I went to because this is the one the Eye of Ender took me to. But you could pretty much tell this is my world and this is the reason why I love it so much. It's a massive extreme hills biome. It goes all the way down over here until it reaches the swamp biome, uh, plains biome which has, which has villagers. But if you ever downloaded my world, you have noticed that I also included a witch's hut somewhere up here. Uh, if you go exactly diagonally, you'll meet this first witch's hut. Now, this one was found uh, legit before I found this program because, um, you know, I was exploring for quite some time after the new 1.4 update. And I finally found my first witch's hut. Of course, um, you know, this program allows us to do many things, you know, find witch's huts like this. Or if I go to the map area, go to find go to stronghold you can actually locate the strongholds if I was you know lazy <laughs> majority of the time strongholds will always be in the spawn point uh, screen so as you see here my Steve's here uh, strongholds are in the 
I guess, relatively close area to the spawn. If I go over here to where it says go to, I can actually go to coordinates. So I can actually type in, you know, zero, 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 which actually is my spawn in my world. So literally it's just spawn me back to this area. And of course I could make a point here if I just type in a uh, coordinate 10,000, zero, 10,000, I guess, I guess that should work. Now let's just put 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000. It will actually spawn me in, you know, vastness of nothingness, pretty much, AKA ocean biomes. Um, and this is pretty much what I was talking about. Like a lot of ocean biomes pretty much rain, uh, Minecraft nowadays, but let me go back to the corner of zero, 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 zero. I don't think I need the Y axis, which is pretty stupid for me <laughs> even including that. But the other features in this program allows us to identify slimes. As you see here, we have a slime tool. Now you want to zoom in real close to the area that you want to include slime. So you have to navigate. Actually zoom in way too much. Um, there we go. So in my world, um, actually I found this by chance because I noticed that there was a bunch of slimes uh, spawning in one area. I'm pretty sure this right here is my slime farm or maybe it was right about here. Um, I have like a huge chunk. If you ever downloaded my world, you'll notice that there's one area that has like a bunch of slimes spawning and I just dug it out and that's pretty much it. Uh, the other feature here is that you can actually go to grid, which just gives you the, um, you know, I guess, I don't want to say it's chunks, but it just, you know, makes it a little bit more organized. Personally, I don't use it as much. It just makes it a tad organized. And the last feature here is nether strongholds, which as, as you can see here, is pretty much a um, parallel plane throughout the whole thing. And the easiest way to find it is just, you know, going to the nether and putting the coordinates. Now these are the coordinates based in the nether, not in the overworld. So just letting you guys know that real fast. Let me actually go back to the coordinates of zero, zero. So in my world, many of you know that there's actually three strongholds next to my uh, nether spawn, which is actually pretty amazing. So this right here is the uh, main one. This is the one I go to the uh, end. And this right here is the one I go to my other portals. And lastly, but not least, um, capture which allows us to actually save the map. So if I just, you know, go to my desktop here, just type it as blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, minimize it, go here. I can actually have a saved picture of the world just in case I want it. Oh, that, <laughs> that looks pretty neat with the grid and everything like that. I can actually, uh, you know, manually look at it without having the program open all the time. And that's exactly what I have here. I actually have, well, actually, I'm not going to show you guys. I'm just going to go to it. So I'm just going to show you guys here. Um, I should probably take off all the nasty stuff real fast because it is cluttering the screen. Okay, from the spawn point, I noticed that the closest mushroom biome is actually going this way, and there it is. There is my first mushroom island that I can legit go to in my legit world. Now, I just have a general location, of course, um, I have to manually find it, but in my world here, I could just type in TP, set a sorcerer, and then it is negative 15,392. Um, Actually, I put my, should put myself to um, game mode once I don't die on doing this. So, um, teleport, set of sorcerer, um, ne negative 15,392, 90, and then neg um, 8,928. Click enter. And what do you know? It teleports me. It should take a while to load because this is the first time actually generating chunks in this area. So, one second. And there we have it, people. We are in the mushroom biome. Look at the mushrooms. Look at all this. Looks pretty amazing. I'm, I'm actually pretty dead center in the mushroom biome. But look at this. This is the mushroom biome. And I just teleported using the program here. And actually, I can actually go back to the program. So let me um, exit here. Let me go back to the program. Move the player to a certain location. So in this case, let's move it to this extreme hills biome. Let's move the player there. So once you place the character here, all you have to do is to go to file and save player location and go back to your Minecraft world. And after that, my character will actually be in da, 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 in oh god oh yeah I'm in I'm creative mode I'm I'm good in an extreme hills biome. So basically, it can actually teleport to any location you want. You don't have to, you don't actually have to type in the teleport coordinates. You can just use the program. But be aware if you're using this in survival mode, uh, the programmer has been has warned people to really uh, place your character over water because he places your character real high. Uh, this is because you know 
just so you don't accidentally go inside a wall or inside a mountain here and that's pretty much it um if you want to survive you know just put yourself over water click save and there you go so that's pretty much over this program guys um i think i kind of dragged it on a little too long but hopefully you guys uh, um, understand how this program works now and hopefully you guys will give it a shot download the mod or download the program and you know go support it Either way guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, we also hope you guys left a like, possibly a favorite, and of course if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button for daily like our videos and more mod reviews slash program reviews in the future. Either way guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and other than that, talk to you guys later. Goodbye.